Welcome to Buckeye Turf Podcast. This podcast is on the turf disease dollar spot. My name is Carl Dannerberger, Professor of Turf Grass Science at The Ohio State University. Dollar spot caused by the pathogen Sclerotinia homeocarpa infects both cool and warm season turf grasses. Symptoms appear as small circular patches, normally one to four inches in diameter. In this case, the symptoms are appearing on a creeping bent grass green. The spots often coalesce into larger irregular patches as shown here on this Bermuda grass tee. That can eventually result in large blighted areas as shown here again on a creeping bent grass turf. If conditions remain favorable, the disease may cause a pitting where the turf dieback is severe enough to expose the underlying soil. The leaf symptom appears as a bleached out lesion with a constricted center. A reddish brown band extending the width of the leaf blade appears along the outer edge of the lesion. White cobweb looking hyphae around the lesion may be present in the early morning or as a mycelial mass on the turf. Dollar spot can occur from spring through fall. It is most active when temperatures are between 60 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit under high humidity or heavy dews. Turf deficient in nitrogen is especially susceptible to this disease. Cultural practices to minimize dollar spot include maintaining adequate nitrogen levels, promoting air movement around the turf, and removing dew. Removal of dew will also aid in making fungicide applications more effective when applied early in the day. Chemically, there are several effective fungicides available for controlling dollar spot. In conclusion, dollar spot management includes proper identification, an effective cultural program, and the proper fungicide treatment when appropriate.